Very well, welcome back to Let's Fly Final Fantasy VII. Last time, we made it, we made it out to the Mithril Cave, and now we are here at Fort Condor. Thanks for accepting. Let me explain our strategy. The enemy will climb the mountain looking for the reactor. We'll leave we'll leave a trap for them and high shoulders to protect the area. Well, that's all. But this village doesn't have any money. Even if we wanted to fight, our hands are tied because we're broke. If we are the one soldier, we will need 400 kill. So if we are 20 soldiers, we must have 8,000 8, kill. So if you folks have the time, we would like to use our own money, your own money, to hire these soldiers. Buy the trap, set it up, and command the troops. If you press for time, we'd like you to help us with the money. If you can give us the money, we can hire soldiers with the founds and block Shimura's attack. We know that what we're asking is selfish. We have sent our wives and children to another village. We are assigned to our fate. Let's get back to square one. If the enemy penetrates our shed, we'll have to fight them immediately. Well, that's because you lost once is not the end of the world, but if you lose repeatedly, it could be dangerous. If there's anything you wish to ask, I'm not gonna go under all the options because I'm... Seriously... It's... You can ask a condition for victory, the enemy, the soldiers, there's a whole lot sub-menu with all the types of soldiers, but trust me, you only need three or four types, and then you can forget about the others, and you'll win every fight. About funding, or basically every every fight that you miss, because basically during the game there are points in which you need to come back here to do the fight. If you don't do that and you go past that, they will have to fight themselves. But they can only do that if they have three thousand gil. If they don't, they'll lose automatically. And if you don't do it, and if you don't do the battle yourself, you lose the prize for the battle because every battle has a prize. And there are fifteen battles to do throughout the game. That's enough. Thank you. Hey, this one's climbing up here. Looks like the business right. Please, any help is appreciated. Um, so you can give them gil, but um, I already have little by now. There'll be a point in which we'll have to give them gil because we will be away from a while and we'll not be able to come back here to do battles. Or you can choose let them handle it, which basically subtracts. I think I think it's it basically subtracts three thousand gil, and then you got to until you get a win, but you don't get any rewards. Alright, okay, alright, okay, ready. Ten enemies. There appear to be many beasts as you may want to employ more attackers. I'm gonna explain it, it's very easy. It's kinda like advanced force, but it's a little, uh, even even less complicated. So you move with this cursor with um, the D pad, and the enemy will come from down here, and will follow these paths up here to the shed. If someone touches the shed, it's game over. They're very slow, but you're slow as well. So as you can see, there is this line here. If you try to press circle, you pay only place anim uh, your units up here, up to this point. Press circle to select a unit. There's a fighter, attacker, defender, shooter, repair, worker, stoner, catapult. So the only <laughs> you'll ever need is the attacker, the defender, and the shooter. The others, I never use them, I don't know why she will even want to use them. Maybe the fighter, I choose it once or twice, but... Basically, we'll fight against three enemies. Uh, the beast, the barbarians, and the wyverns. The attacker, well, he beats the beast, but loses to barbarians. The defender beats the barbarian, but loses to the wyvern. And the shooter beats the wyvern, loses to beasts. It's basically lo like rock, paper, scissor. Each of those three basic soldiers is strong against the type of enemy and weak against the other. So basically, you you, you see which enemies will appear and you just deploy the correct unit. It's really, it's really easy. But you see, you know, it's better to just do it. Oh well, shouldn't even do that. Okay. So I usually, what I do is place two soldiers. Usually two attacks. Now I made a mistake and placed the fighter. And then I press X and start. You can set the combat speed. By using R1 and R2 and R1, that will lower the speed of all units. Or is it? So I'm just gonna send this guy over here. And then press circle on the other one. Action. You go over to this side and attack that guy. Let's raise that to highest. So as these guys move down, the line that will that will tell us how far we can place the units will lower as well. Okay, at this point we'll slow down the battle. And okay, 
this guy beast 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 or something is gonna send one over here. Uh, I don't know if this guy will be able to reach it, so you know what? Okay. Okay, so you can see attacker 3 encounter the enemy, and uh, you can see them attacking. You can give them other orders if you want, you can just press X and they will keep attacking. Okay, this guy encountered the enemy. Good, boom. You win if all the enemies are defeated. So it doesn't really matter if you defeat them all. As long as there are zero enemies at a certain point, you win. Oh, enemy destroyed, I'm going. I need to give you another order then. Attack that guy. And you attack that guy. You need to have another order because that your target was gone. Let's raise the battle speed a little bit. Okay. We have a Vibrant over here, even though they weak to it, I'm gonna have them attack anyway. And I'm going to deploy... Damn it! I'm going to deploy a shooter and I order him to attack the Vibrant. And another shooter around here. To attack the other Vibrant. So it'll give them a hand. That's destroyed, okay. That's destroyed, okay. Now kill that guy and we're done. Come on, guys. Oh, come on. Finish this guy off. It's only that guy left. Ah, attack. There we go. This one's taking longer than it should, man. A lot longer than it should. The reason why I'm moving it up is because I need an attacker right here. Come on, I need space to place things. Come on. Okay, attacker. Come on. Attack that guy. This is going really bad. It usually goes a lot faster than what you can see here. Okay. Okay, you attack that guy. You two attack. Give a hand. You need to give a hand there, man. Come on. Oh, that's... It's only that one beast! There we go! I had to play seven soldiers, that was really a lot. Usually I like play seven. Like, I mean six or five, five or six. Never play seven. You get back some gil from that and that's it. You found this on the battlefield, a magic comb. Which is a weapon for Simba, uh, we don't have another team now. Okay, that's all we need to do here right now. When it will be time to come back here, if if it if it doesn't take too much because we're really far away, because I mean because we're not really far away, then I'll be I'll go I'll manually backtrack and you'll see me backtrack. Otherwise, I will just do it in middle in the middle of two episodes. Otherwise, because seriously, except for, especially for battles like 9, then battle number 9, number 8, it will take forever to backtrack. Because like on the other side of the world, they need to go there on foot, because there's no other way. Anyway, now we're back on the world map. What we will be, well, we'll, we'll be doing. We'll put Simba again in here, in the team, and equip him with the Magicom, which is, well, this is a double grove weapon. I believe it's the first we see. Basically, all the material in here now takes double the experience. I mean the experience, the AP, right? So it'll grow faster. Which is very useful, of course. Now, what we need to do is getting my favorite character in all of Final Fantasy VII. 
because there's an optional character you can find in here. Well, you don't always find her here, but from here you can find it. Okay, let me think about this. Boom. Da -da -da. Do a cross selection on these guys. What we gotta do is going in one of the forests that there are in the world map. And then fight battles. In there, we have one to eight chance of finding this new character. And we'll have to battle her, and then there's a whole bunch of things you gotta do to get her in your team. Let's see when it'll come. We'll see when we'll find her, because that's really pretty difficult if you don't know what to do. You can find her from this point in the map, from this area. And, but the more you progress with the story, the more likely you are to find her in the forest. Alright, then we'll go in that big forest over there. Let me see, let me see something. I better use a tent to fully restore myself. Because if I don't find her, I'll have Ares use Beta or Metra Magic to defeat the enemy so she erases her kills. And if she raises her kills, her kills, she will get more limits. Let's see. Okay, these are only two, so I'm not even going to use ma Beta or Matra Magic. These guys are dangerous, though. They can come in group of five, which is bad. And that's the most dangerous move that you have, Grand Spark. Yep, that hurts. If you couldn't tell... But I just need a cure and everything will be fine. Now we'll be here a while because we need to find this character. Only and you have and we have only one out of one out uh, one out of eight chance to find her. That's why I bought some tents so I could restore my MPs and HP if I ever needed to. It's another back attack. Same battle before. What's going on? You know what? Let's run. I don't care. Can we run away? There we go. You can't give me the same battle twice in a row. There are like four different battles here. Four or five different battles you can fight. Oh well. What? Are you kidding me? No, I don't believe it. Three times! Three times we get the same battle. The same. The same enemies. Now, if I get it a fourth time, the RNG is stuck. The, the Final Fantasy VII RNG is stuck. If I get the same battle the fourth time, this is really very unlikely. That. The game is just picking the same battle every time. Oh no, there we go. No, this is different. Okay, if we survive, and we have to, because... Oh wow, it's the same. Okay, that will heal everybody. Now, let's use some... Yeah, limit the end some magic. Because these guys are, aren't dangerous when they're alone, but they were in groups. Then they're dangerous, because the Grand Spark is gonna hurt. Okay, Matra magic. And if that doesn't kill them, hopefully the Sled Fang will. 
good. Now let's hope we doesn't take too much finding this character. Okay, there we go, we found her! That wasn't that hard, after all. So now we have to defeat her in battle, which is not that strong. But still, we gotta be a little bit careful. Boom. Heal, and... Wait, can you steal from her? I never tried. But I don't think... I don't think she has anything. Nothing to steal, exactly. Boom. There we go, found. They did it. We did it. So now it starts. What you have to do is a series of things that will allow you to get her in your party. So you don't have, I think you don't have to talk to your party members. Go directly to her, don't use that save point, and do not open the menu. If you do that, she run away and steal some of your money. So you just have to talk to her directly. Man, I can't believe I lost! You spiky head a jerk! One more time, let's go one more time! So now, depending on what you answer, there will be, there will be multiple questions. Every question will have two answers. If you miss uh, either, if you miss an answer, she will run away. You'll have to find her again. So let's go one more time. Not interested. Thinking of running away? Stay and fight. Fight, I said. Come on, what's the matter? You're pretty scared of me, huh? Petrified. Hmm. Just as I, just as I thought. What do you expect with my skills? Good luck to you guys too. If you feel up to it, we can go another round. Later. I'm really gonna leave? Really? Wait a second. What is it? You still have something for me? Hmm, so that's it? I know you want my help because I'm so good. You want me to go with you? That's right. Haha, <laughs> so you would put me in a spot. You put me in a spot, hmm, what should I do? But if you want me that bad, I can't refuse. Alright, I'll go with you. Let's start on. Huh? Hey! Hey! Wait, I haven't even told you my name! And there you go. Say hi to Yuffie, which we rename... Promptly. To... To Alessia. I'm Alessia, good to meet ya! <laughs> Just as I planned. Now all I have to do is a little these and a little that. <laughs> hey, wait up! Wait for me! Now she is the one I want to get the date with, believe it or not. Let's put her in our party, let's just see what she starts with. She's a pretty nice character. It's optional, she don't have to work with her. You can pretty much, fi you can be just finish the game without her, but she's pretty good. First of all, she's a long range character, so first thing you wanna do is there, put her in the back row. She al always attacks from the distance. Then, she uses Shuriken's weapon, she, well, she comes with some, with a material that's really interesting and you cannot find her anywhere, I think, uh, you can, I think you cannot find throw material anywhere else. Oh, Bradley, you do. I don't know. This keeps the throw command. With the throw command, you can throw an item at the enemy. You can throw weapons. You can throw and pretty much anything. But you know, if you throw weapons, you're gonna lose them. So I don't know. I never used it in Final Fantasy VII. I have I had used them in other games, but not here. Like for example, in six, I I use sh throw with shadow like like continuously because you can throw shurikens and deal incredible damage. But yeah, we could put her in our party, and we could, bro, we could do, we could do it, we could do it. Yeah, why not? 
she's my favorite character after all. And let's give her Simba's materia. And since we have a slot, let's throw in a throw. Also, she starts with a carbon bangle, which is superior to all the armor everybody else has access to. Which is awesome. So now we have to go to Junon. Junon is over this way. And over there. We should be able to see. Yeah, okay. Alright then. Let's battle then. So that you can see how good she is. Since she attacks from the distance, she'll become pre pretty powerful by time. The only thing that I don't like about her are the limits. I mean, she has some nice limits, but not too too, too much strong. Only a few of them are good, on and some of them aren't. Most of them aren't. Anyway, we'll stop right here in front of June on Arbor, and next time on Final Fantasy VII, we will enter Juno Arbor and we'll see what we can do there to find our friend Sephiroth. Is apparently he's out of here. See you guys then.